Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. Thanks so much for stopping by for another fun Tumblr tutorial with me. Um, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my Tumblr tutorials are usually crazy and fun and I never really know how they're gonna go. So um, as you see in the title of every one of my videos, it says, come learn with me. Um, I love learning and I love teaching. And so here we just learn together. If you're a regular, you really know by now, hopefully how much I I appreciate you coming back. Um, so again, just thank you for coming by. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, follow. Um, I drop Tumblr tutorials every Sunday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Okay, so let's get into today's tutorial. So this is a hand-painted leopard spots ombre water slide tumbler here. Um, I encountered a few difficulties with the leopard spots, but no big deal. We work through those things and make it work. So anyways, just stay tuned, follow along, and I will walk you through the steps and show you how I created this one. So I started with my prepped and sanded tumbler, and then I just applied a base coat of universal white. Here I'm applying the second layer of universal white and I'm being pretty generous with it um, because I'm gonna be applying white glitter here at the top in just a little bit. Next, I use Purple Delight from the Crystal Light Company, which this is one of their flippin' awesome paints. And please don't laugh at my ombre. I changed my mind several times on how I wanted to do this. The ombre is terrible. It wasn't supposed to be pretty, but it's just for a base coat. So now I'm going to be using glitter glue and I'm going to be pretty generous with this because I need one coat coverage, okay? And I'm just going to slap this all over and then I'm going to put my glitter on. Make sure you get even coverage because it's not always fun to go back and patch and repair glitter and again, trying to get one coat coverage. I just wanna make sure it's generous. And I'm gonna be using Polar Ice from um, Bailey's Witchcrafts Glitter. And then just a chunky purple from Walmart that I've had, you know, since day one of Tumblr making and never really made too many purple things, so I've not ever purchased purple. Definitely should from one of the other glitter companies, but for now, this one's gonna be just fine. Just trying to make sure I covered every little piece of this tumbler. And I'm gonna be trying to ombre this with glitter. I think I'm gonna start here with the purple. And the higher up you can do it is always best, but I don't have a great glittering area. You're seeing it go all over my table. I should have used, definitely should have used a um, larger sheet of paper to catch my excess glitter. This glitter's got quite a bit of blue in it too, which is interesting. I'm trying to angle it enough to let it bounce up. Okay. You know, and I may end up having to do a second coat because it does have so much blue in it. I did not realize that, wow. Okay, I really should do that. Okay, and then I've got this polar ice. And I'm just gonna try to ombre that together. Oh, 
actually looks like it did pretty well. Right there, I've got a little area that might just need, I still have my wet brush here. Just gonna try this. Hopefully I don't regret it. Okay, I'm gonna be um, letting this dry for a couple hours and I will smush it down a little bit and then I will also seal it with glitter glue and then smush it once more. Okay, and so here I am just sealing the whole tumbler up with glitter glue. Um, if I had been smart about this, I would have started with the white and worked my way down to the purple. Um, you know, you always try to prevent cross-contamination, but purple did end up in my white. You're gonna see that here in just a second. Um, but had I started on the white end first, it wouldn't have done it so much, but um, it actually looks fine when it's all said and done. Some of the purple, you know, like I said, ends up in the white, um, but it's totally okay. Um, I allowed that to dry for about an hour and then I smushed it, which simply means rolling it in parchment paper and pressing firmly on it to help flatten your glitter. And that way, whenever you start applying your bright tone layers, you know, you're not dealing with such a rough surface and um, your glitter is somewhat smooth to begin with. Okay, so I've got my tumbler ready here to go ahead and apply my leopard spots. And I do realize I could do this a couple of different ways. I could use Flippin' Awesome Purple Delight to paint my um, little leopard spots on with and then dump my glitter over it. Or I can use glitter glue to apply the leopard spots and dump my glitter over it. I think I'm gonna use glitter glue. Um, yes, that is what I'm gonna do. All right, so just gonna get started doing that. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and put it in fast motion. Okay, got all my spots on, and now then, I just need to let this dry, and then I will be doing my um, black outlines. Okay, so um, I got this all, you know, glitter, leopard spots, all that, and I just dusted all that excess glitter off of these spots, but now I'm gonna go ahead and smush these down again with my parchment paper. I just really want my spots to be nice and flat so that when it does come to those bright tone layers, things go much easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna be applying my black outlines to the spots with black gloss and black, black cat glitter from the Glitter Guy. I just um, am using kind of a firm brush to apply the um, black gloss and then just dumping the glitter right onto each spot as I go. And here I'm just um, dusting all that excess glitter, black glitter off 
right over my trash can. Um, now that that black gloss and glitter is completely dry, it's safe to do this. Okay, and so once I um, looked the tumbler over, I realized I had a few bare spots that I wanted to fill in with just simply just little black splotches like you see with leopard print. So that's what I'm doing here. And so now that I'm completely done with the glitter process, I'm just sealing all my glitter again, and I did smush it after about an hour of dry time and then moved on to my bright tone layers. Alrighty, I just finished up a level sand and now then this has about i'm telling you um doing leopard spots can be tricky because you can see i think that i've still got unlevelness and it's all due to those leopard spots and um, i have about five layers of bright tone on here then the level sand and now then a layer of bright tone after that first level sand but this is going to be so pretty it is a little extra effort with the leopard spots but it'll be so worth it okay it is time to put my water slide on this tumbler i am super loving this sorry i gotta make sure that i'm staying in frame here for you guys um my spots down here you can still see on the edge that I'm a little unlevel, but because I need to go ahead and get my water slide on and continue my bright tone layers, I will be doing another level sand eventually after a few layers, probably four, over my water slide um, to try to get this evened out. Um, Cause you just don't want to feel those big differences. In hindsight, I wish I would have just done vinyl for my spots. Um, and figured out something different, but live and learn. So now then I'm just gonna get this on here. I've got my warm water, my clear water, water slide paper. It's printed in reverse. So I'm just gonna put this in the warm water. Now I spray sealed that water slide with Rust-Oleum two times clear and let it gas off for about, mm, well, it's been three or four days actually. So we are good to go. finding my smoothest part, even though it's all very smooth up here. Just wanna make sure. And because I'm in reverse, set it down. Cute, but it looks crooked. Just a little adjustment. Gotta stand it up real quick and make sure. I think right there. Oh, that is so cute. Love that. I have a I made a t-shirt quite some time ago when I first got my cricket that had this same mom life image on it and I always thought that was really cute. Just really wanna get all that water pressed out. That was almost a stupid move because my paper towel stuck to it. <laughs> that would have been so awful. If you do that, use a damp paper towel. Wow. Okay, super cute. Now then I'm just gonna let this dry out for a while before applying more bright tone layers. So, like I said, this did take quite a few more layers of bright tone than I really would have wanted to have done on it, but um, you live and learn. It was totally worth it. I think it turned out so, so pretty. Um, the purpley blue glitter is actually really cool looking if you ask me. The little mom life image is super cute. Um, 
but I hope that you have been inspired and encouraged by this one. And maybe if you haven't given ombre a try or leopard spots a try or water slide, then you will just go for it. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I hope that you will like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you're thinking down below. All the products that I used will, can be found in the description below. Be sure to ring that notification bell and be on the lookout for future Tumblr tutorials. Thanks so much for watching.